Hello and let me welcome you to this session of the Harvest House International Mushroom Reality TV Show. My name is Tatenda Chabata and it's a great pleasure here to be seated with um, Minister Welcome Nariswa who is of the Cherubims, a powerful upcoming uh, uh, project that is being run by our very own here in Harvest House International Mushroom. Hello, welcome and welcome. Hello Tatenda, how are you? I am alright. How are you feeling? Oh well, I feel, I feel great. That's, great. Uh, that's beautiful. Welcome. Um, what are you really working towards? Can you just explain to us briefly what you are working towards? Okay, I've, um, we recorded a live DVD recording with my group called The Cherubims on the 25th of May um, at Charles Austin Theatre. And uh, it was a great success. And uh, we saw the grace and the manifestation of God in that event. And uh, we really thank God. So that was a, a, a real leap for you, I understand. Yeah, it was a great leap because uh, we're going to launch a, a DVD and a CD at the same time from, the, from one project. So we really thank God. So how, um, how can you uh, explain to the viewers what the Cherubims really entails? How did, how did you come up with the name and how did you come up with the group all, all in all? Okay, uh, the name Cherubims, I didn't really come up with the name Cherubims per se. But um, it was a vision that God showed me. And I showed me a vision of, uh, of cherubims that are worshipping in heaven. And then he said that I want you to start such a ministry on earth where we will continually offer worship to God. So I didn't really like, think that uh, what can I name my group, but it's a vision that I saw in the spirit and I just believed that that is what God wanted me to do. And I started executing the vision and it is growing so well and God has done exploits for us. Ah, it's a beautiful thing, it's a beautiful experience to know that the youth and the young people in Mashingo are actually taking time to listen to God and to hear what God is saying and to actually bring it out into the physical, to have it manifest in the physical. Now, Minister, welcome. Um, how did you choose your group members? Okay. Um, um, in Cherubims, we don't really do auditions. We don't audition because in Cherubims, we are not a group per se or we are not trying to do art. We are trying to do, we're trying, we are doing ministry. So cherubims, we function by appointment. We, we, we look at people that we see, which they probably they have got what it takes for us to work with them, and then we appoint them to become a part of the group. So we don't audition, we don't just pick talent, but we, we, we look at the ministry nature of someone, and then we appoint them to become a part of the group. That is very inspiring because I want to believe that in church there are a lot of uh, people who feel that they have a call of God to perform or to, to work in the house of the Lord but have no opportunity because nobody is picking talent as you are doing it. But when you pick on someone who's chosen to minister to the Lord, I think that is a powerful move. Now, Minister, welcome. Um, have you always wanted to be an artist? Is it something that you've always wanted or did you stumble into it? How did you become to... In, how did you fall into um, entertainment or into, into a ministering like this? Okay, I, I always knew that I was going to be an artist. And uh, not only an artist, but a minister. Because I grew up in a family of, of, um, of, of worship ministers. My mother was, um, was a choir mistress at, at school. Oh. She was a teacher and she was a choir mistress. And at the same time, she was also the choir director of the church, church president choir where I used to go to in AFM. And uh, my brothers recorded an album when I was a young guy, nine years old, and they took me to the studio. So I went with them to the studios, oh. and I got my first guitar when I was 14 years old. Oh. That's when I got my first present as a birthday present, as a guitar. That's when I started playing the acoustic guitar. Uh, at nine years old, I started playing the keyboard. So I always knew that somewhere, somehow, my life was surrounded by music, and I knew that somewhere, somehow, I'm just going to end up doing music in my life. So when I see this happening, I, I know it's a dream come true. Oh, or something so. that I've always known that it should happen. So we can definitely say that worship ministry is just in your DNA. It's in my, it's in my blood. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Now, you were talking about playing the keyboard and playing the guitar. And just how many more instruments can you play? Okay, I, I, I play keyboards. Yes. I play lead guitar. I play acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. I can play um, um, piano. Yes. I can play um, um, bass guitar. Wow. Yeah, so I, I, I've got a, a, a couple of instruments that I can play around with and yeah, bring out a sound that is I'll definitely sensible. come for lessons. Maybe I'll just learn to, York, to York. tap on one key on the keyboard. <laughs> uh, Minister, welcome. Um, can you tell me exactly um, what you are seeing ahead of yourself? Okay. Um, 
what I see I had uh, of myself is scary to share because it's scary even to myself. But uh, God has shown me a lot of great things that He's willing to do through my life if I remain um, obedient and humble in His presence. Um, I, I see us as the cherubims going out, invading the world. We, our intention is to, one of these days, open a worship school, a school where people come and learn for a year, two years, three years to get diplomas, degrees on music, not only on music, but in, on worship, per se. And also, uh, I see us uh, doing out, outdoor worship crusades where we get to a place and we set up our stage and then we just um, use the influence of music to lead people to Christ. I'm happy to say that on the DVD recording, about seven people gave their life to Jesus. So for me, the, those things are a sign that God is willing to use us through music to win souls to the kingdom of God. Yes. Now, uh, Minister, welcome. There is a sermon where Bishop once taught us that God gives everybody a talent, a talent for which to make it in life. And he, gives exam and he gave examples of uh, some uh, secular musicians. Do you feel that um, the, the cherubims and your project as a whole is going to sustain you even financially? Um, I, I feel that um, we're not doing it for money and we're not doing it to try and raise. Actually, we are not gathering. Uh, we are not trying to gather, but rather we are gathering to scatter. What we're looking for resources so as we can go out and do the gospel, not to do the gospel so as we can have the resources. But I believe that this project is going to bring a lot of resources because already we've seen God just providing so far for us to do the DVD. We didn't have any sponsor. We just had... Um, we just managed to do it, and uh, we, for that is a sign enough for us to know that God is willing to do great things. Ah, that's beautiful. Can you just mention a few challenges that you faced, especially when you were uh, preparing for, for the live DVD recording? Okay, um, challenges that we first, um, first of all, probably the challenge was the fact that, you see, when you are, you are, when you are trying to, when you've got a vision, and there seemingly is no adequate provision for that vision, Sometimes it can uh, stress and it can give you a lot of uh, pressure. But uh, we managed to go through, and that was one, one pressure where we didn't have enough uh, financial uh, support in terms of our project, but uh, we managed to sail through. And also other challenges were personal commitments. You see, when you're working with a group, they've got different people and doing different things. So what you face as artists is that um, people have got their own personal lives and their own personal wishes to follow. So sometimes when you need them to be, guys, come down, let's do this, sometimes you see people won't be available, some of those things. But uh, above all, even though we face challenges, we, we succeed. All right. Now, um, just what, as we close, I just want you to tell the audience briefly, um, as in, who is Welcome Nariswa? Okay. That's a tough question, eh? But uh, Welcome Nariswa is... Um, is a young man who has learned a lot of things by experience. And um, I've learned things the hard way. I always talk of my background. If you look, uh, if you listen to the DVD, which is coming out on the 28th of June, there's a track called Ndiyemar, which is a testimony of my own life. I'm a man who's made up of um, different circumstances in my life. I've been in a place where I've had so much plenty. I've been in a place where I've had nothing at all in life. But in all these things, I've learned to become like Paul, that in all things, give thanks unto the Lord and I've learned to be content with who I am and what I have and I've learned to, uh, to, to, to rejoice and to thank God in all circumstances. Oh, That's what I can say. That is good. So audience, you are urged to watch out for the release of the DVD on the 28th of June for the DVD recording they did on the 25th of May. Minister, welcome. It's been a pleasure to have you. Thank, thank you, you so much. We wish thank to have you, so you on much. our seats uh, in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.